He is known for being a founding figure of German idealism, a philosophical movement that developed from the writings of Immanuel Kant. He is recognized for his original insights into the nature of self-consciousness, which have gained appreciation from philosophers and scholars. He is Johann Gottlieb Fichte, a renowned German philosopher and one of the fathers of German nationalism. In the vast expanse of the German philosophical landscape, one man emerged as a trailblazer, shaping the course of thought for generations to come. Johann Gottlieb Fichte, a luminary of intellect, would forever be remembered as a founding figure of the German idealism movement. With a mind brimming with curiosity and a thirst for knowledge, he delved into the depths of philosophical exploration. Born in the late 18th century, Fichte was inspired by the profound insights of Immanuel Kant, which paved the way for his own groundbreaking ideas. Among his many contributions, Fichte's concept of thesis-antithesis-synthesis stood as a testament to his intellectual innovation. It was an idea that would later be mistakenly associated with Hegel, but the truth remained that Fichte was the true originator. Driven by the enigma of subjectivity and consciousness, Fichte sought to unravel the intricacies of self-awareness. In doing so, he took his place alongside great thinkers such as Descartes and Kant. Yet, Fichte's intellectual prowess extended beyond the realm of philosophy. He ventured into the realm of political thought, leaving an indelible mark as one of the architects of German nationalism. Johann Gottlieb Fichte's wisdom and influence stretched far and wide, leaving an enduring imprint on the annals of philosophy. His works would resonate through the ages, inspiring countless generations of thinkers and philosophers who followed in his footsteps. As the protagonist of this captivating story, Fichte will forever be celebrated as a profound philosopher and an intellectual beacon who illuminated the path to understanding the depths of human consciousness. Johann Gottlieb Fichte, born in Ramenau, Upper Lusatia, lived a humble life as the son of a ribbon weaver. Despite his modest beginnings, he displayed remarkable intelligence and was known for his piety and integrity, traits inherited from his family. It was his reputation among the villagers that granted him an opportunity for a better education than his circumstances allowed. The turning point in Fichte's life came when the Freiherr von Miltitz, a local landowner, arrived too late to hear the sermon delivered by the village pastor. However, he heard of a young lad in the neighborhood who could recite the entire sermon nearly word for word. Intrigued by this prodigious talent, the Baron decided to take Fichte under his wing and sponsor his education. Under the patronage of the Baron, Fichte received a more comprehensive education that allowed him to develop his intellectual abilities. This early exposure to knowledge shaped Fichte's philosophical inclination and set him on a path towards becoming one of the most influential thinkers of his time. Fichte's humble beginnings and the opportunity he received highlight the importance of recognizing and nurturing the potential within individuals, regardless of their background. Fichte's story reminds us that intellectual ability and philosophical insights can emerge from unexpected places, and it is our duty to support and encourage such talent in our society. Johann's early childhood was marked by a separation from his parents, as he was placed in the care of Pastor Kriebel at Niederow near Meissen. Under Kriebel's guidance, he received a thorough education in the classics, laying the foundation for his intellectual pursuits. As time went on, Johann saw less and less of his parents, further fueling his sense of introspection and independence. In October 1774, Johann had the opportunity to attend the prestigious Pforta School near Naumburg. It was at this renowned establishment that he crossed paths with some of the brightest minds of his time, including figures like Novalis, August Wilhelm Schlegel, Friedrich Schlegel, and Nietzsche. The spirit of the school was semi-monastic, focusing on providing an excellent education. However, the lack of social interaction and limited exposure to the outside world had a profound impact on Johann's temperament and background. This environment fueled his inclination towards introspection and independence, characteristics that would play a significant role in shaping his doctrines and writings. While the education at Pforta was exceptional, it also heightened Johann's intellectual curiosity and desire to explore his own philosophical ideas. Johann Gottlieb Fichte's early schooling experiences instilled in him a deep sense of self-reflection and an independent spirit. These qualities would become the driving force behind his philosophical theories and writings. As we navigate our own daily lives, Fichte's emphasis on introspection and independence can serve as a reminder to critically examine our beliefs and forge our own paths of thought. Johann Gottlieb Fichte, a young and ambitious scholar, found himself in a precarious situation in 1788. After leaving Leipzig in search of better opportunities, he had to settle for a less promising position as a tutor for the family of an innkeeper in Zurich. Despite the challenging circumstances, Fichte found contentment during his time in Zurich. It was there that he met his future wife, Johanna Rahn, and influential figures like Johann Heinrich Pestalozzi and Johann Wolfgang Goethe. As Fichte immersed himself in his studies, he stumbled upon the works of Immanuel Kant, 
a renowned philosopher. Initially, Fichte's curiosity about Kant's writings was sparked by one of his students. Little did he know that this encounter would have a profound impact on his life and thought. Fichte's engagement to Johanna was soon overshadowed by financial difficulties faced by her family, forcing them to postpone their marriage. But Fichte remained resilient in the face of adversity. His dedication to philosophical exploration and his unyielding thirst for knowledge kept him going. He firmly believed in the pursuit of truth and the power of reason, even when circumstances seemed dire. Fichte's commitment to his studies led him to delve deeper into Kantian philosophy, embracing the ideas and concepts that shaped his thinking. It is during this tumultuous period that Fichte made a profound declaration, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. This statement reflected his unwavering belief in the cyclical nature of existence and the interconnectedness of individual experiences. Fichte understood that life is filled with ups and downs, but he also recognized the potential for personal growth and transformation within these cycles. Although Fichte's journey was not without its hardships, his resilience and unwavering pursuit of knowledge offer valuable lessons for us all. In our daily lives, we may encounter challenges that threaten to derail us from our goals. But Fichte's story reminds us to stay steadfast in our pursuits, to seek knowledge and understanding even in the face of adversity. It is through this unwavering determination that we can navigate life's challenges and find meaning within the cyclical nature of our existence. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.